Pogba doping controversy has just got a whole lot worse. After being issued with a provisional ban for failing a drug test just over a month ago, the French international has tested positive for testosterone in a backup sample. Despite claiming it was due to a supplement taken by mistake, he could be suspended for up to four years, forcing Paul Pogba into an early retirement. In the meantime, Juventus now have the right to suspend his pay, and instead, just guarantee a minimum wage of 33,700 pounds. He is currently earning 170,000 per week. The next step will be for the anti-doping prosecutor's office to investigate the case around Pogba. If found guilty, we could be saying goodbye to a player who was once the most expensive footballer in the world. This is what Paul Pogba had to say after receiving his punishment, namely a four-year suspension in the case of the positive test for testosterone. The 30-year-old player broke his silence on Instagram regarding his heavy suspension. Shocked and saddened, the striker has announced that he will appeal against the decision. I was informed today of the National Anti-Doping Tribunal's decision and I think the verdict is wrong. I am saddened, shocked and heartbroken that everything I have built up over my career as a professional player has been taken away from me. When I am free to be abducted, under any legal restrictions, the whole story will come out. But I have never knowingly or deliberately taken any complaints that violate anti-doping regulations. As a professional athlete, I would never do anything to improve my performance by using banned substances. And I have never shown any disrespect to other athletes or supporters of the teams I've played for or against. As a result of the decision announced today, I will be appealing to the Court of Arbitration for Sport. So this case is far from over. Follow me for more videos. You currently earn more than Paul Pug. No, it's not a joke. The person watching this video is making more money than the World Cup winning football superstar. And the reason is heartbreaking. A few years ago, Pogba was the highest paid player in the Premier League. Despite turning down a 400,000 euros per week contract to move to UN, he was earning 8 million euros annually. However, disaster struck when Pogba failed a drug test and was suspended. As a result, he now only makes 2,000 euros a month. For context, the average Italian earns 2,627 euros monthly. Things will worsen as efforts are made to terminate Pogba's contract during his suspension, leaving him with no income. So if the I'm Paul Pogba. I born the 15th of March 1993 as a French professional footballer who plays as a midfielder for Serie A club Juventus and the France national football team. At the U17 level, I was able to compete in the UEFA European Football Under-17 Championship held in 2010. At the national team level, I was called up for the 2014 World Cup, Euro 2016, 2018 World Cup and Euro 2020. most expensive player in 2016 when he joined Manchester United for over 100 million euros. However, his career took a downturn and his market value is currently sitting at 20 million euros. He joined the youth academy of Manchester United, coming over from the French club Le Havre. He impressed at the youth teams and made his professional debut in the 2011-2012 season. However, he felt he wasn't getting enough playing time and decided to join Juventus. At Juventus, Papa thrived and became a key player for the club. He helped them win multiple Serie A titles and reached the champion. League final. Pogba's performances caught the attention of top clubs and he was named the best young player in Europe at the time. In 2016, Manchester United broke the transfer record to bring Pogba back to the club. However, Pogba's return to Manchester United didn't go as expected. He struggled to replicate his form at Juventus and faced criticism for his performances. Despite winning the Europa League with United, Pogba failed to live up to his price tag. On the international stage, Pogba played a crucial role in France's 2018 World Cup victory. He scored important goals and showcased his abilities. However, his club performances remained inconsistent. He left Manchester United for Juventus once more, a move that is characterized by injury. Throughout his time there, he only managed to play a total of 161 minutes and he won't be expected back on the field until the next season.